Hi, and welcome to the tutorial video on recording in FinCast Studio, a version 4.9 onwards. So there has been a few small changes in how FinCast Studio now records. The recording changes are what is in the virtual camera will be recorded. And the virtual camera button is this button over here, the VCAM button. Uh, turning it on and off will allow you to switch on and off the virtual camera and the virtual camera can be used in other programs or you can actually even stream live with the virtual camera rather than using filmcasts on built-in live streaming however when you click the record button the vcam button if you forget will come on automatically and will go off automatically uh, on the record uh, this must be checked for record and down here would be when you need to stream so cross to the right hand side is the record settings up here on the top you can simply select the pass the folder to where you want all your recorded files to be saved here you can uh, select a screen size uh, full HD is usually recommended it's of really good quality and you can have a couple of formats here like MPEG-4, AVI, Flash, MKV, MPEG, MOV and Windows. You can also change the frames per second, but again, 30 frames per second is usually pretty good. Threads means your cores of CPU. So zero means all cores will be used in the recording process. You may want to reserve some of your CPU. If so, simply just select the number of cores that you choose that you want. So for example, if you've got four cores, you can select three. The pixel format really should never need to be changed. Um, this is an important format because it allows what they call in the industry dumb video players like Windows Media Player to be able to actually play the recorded videos. However, if you need to change the format, you can do so here um, to various options available to you. Then we have the video bit race, which is default 2500. This is more than adequate for a very good quality picture in full HD. The higher you increase this, the better the quality but the bigger the file size will be after it has been recorded. And obviously it will use more CPU while recording. The less you use, a smaller file size will be in your recorded video and the quality will be slightly less and it will use less CPU. Okay, let's talk about uh, recording. Uh, for those who may not be aware, whatever's in this program screen, whatever you have selected, if anything selected, will be recorded. We have the record button, or EC, to turn it on and off. We have the speaker button, which is on by default, but of course you can turn it off. What that means is whatever you hear in your speakers or headphones will be recorded. The AUX button is usually for selecting the microphone, for example, that's connected to your computer. Also, it could be an audio mixing desk. You can alternate between them with the plus and minus key of connected devices to your computer. And you also have up here the AUX volume, but this only should probably apply to microphones. It's just another way of increasing your microphone uh, volume without actually having to go into Windows Audio settings and you can use it also okay um, so let's hit the record button okay so basically what happens the record button will show a timer here of how long it has been recording we can see the vcam button has come on um, automatically and will also go off automatically when we toggle the record button which can also be done with the OR key on your keyboard, which I've just done there without having to use the mouse. 
Okay, Doug is recording in FinCast Studio. Um, it's reasonably simple to do. Um, the most default settings should be more than adequate for everybody, I would think. So the only thing you really should have to change in these settings uh, is your path, the location to where your recorded files will go. By default, there will be no selected paths. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching our tutorial videos. The website again is fincast.com and I hope to see you back again soon. Bye now.